They always want you to, you know what these rappers, all these singers, all these big rappers y'all, y'all look up to? They always tell you what the good part about, but you, they never tell you what the bad part. That's just, that, and that's crazy, man. Yeah, they got all this money, but get, they, they, they're dealing with emo spirits. They're dealing with kids. It looks like YK Osiris is finally done getting passed around the industry like an S because he just exposed Diddy for forcing him into freak offs and making him his little boy toy. Now, there have been rumors going around over the years of Diddy turning aspiring artists into his little twinks for some years now, but people started to suspect that he was doing the same thing to YK when he flew him out to Jamaica for a secret vacation. The crazy thing is, Diddy isn't the only one who's been rumored to have been involved with YK. Word on the street is, Drake might also also be a little fruity and has been hooking up with YK on the low for some time now. I want to get out this music industry because this is not for me, but I do it because I feed my family, but I don't want to be in this. This is not what God want me to do. Okay, so if you've been keeping up with this whole mess about Diddy, then you've probably heard YK's name pop up a few times now. These rumors started back in 2021 when Diddy and YK were seen vacationing together in Jamaica. YK fueled the rumors when he posted a very seductive photo of Diddy shirtless in the pool to his IG story with prayer hands emojis. It was almost like YK was worshiping Diddy and being grateful for something. Something. He later posted a photo of him getting a massage while he was laying down naked with the caption, listening to that ditty, eating that good fruit, and the beautiful weather. Not only that, but he also posted this since deleted photo of him seductively leaning in to eat a bunch of fruits, which people think was taken by Diddy. A lot of people felt like this was really sus and accused him of being Diddy's new boy toy. One person said, I said to my Myself, the moment I didn't see no female or a hint towards him even being with family. I knew it was a man who sponsored the trip. I was watching all his stories of him showing himself alone in his villa, like he was not there with the woman or working or even with his family. My gut said he's acting like a female who's on a paid trip and taking photos and videos to savor the moments. I thought off the top of my head, it was an exact for sure. Didn't know it would be Diddy. Another person said that fruit pick, sometimes they get turned out so much they stop being able to hide it. What made this even shadier was that just before the trip, there were rumors about YK being broke after he announced on his IG story that he sold all his most expensive cars. Yes, man, I sold my Lamborghini, I sold my Rolls Royce, I sold my Cadillacs. Yes, sir, Ski! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this thing humble yourself. I ain't gonna cap tea. I got a floss for you, niggas, bro. Think I already got it. I ain't got a floss for you, niggas, man. If a nigga, y'all gonna think what y'all wanna think. If I do got it, don't got it. Y'all y'all gonna think what y'all wanna think. I love this hunter. I ain't riding the fucking lemon again. I got a floss for you. This meant that there was no way that man could have afforded that trip unless somebody else sponsored it for him. YK's baby mama made things even worse for him when she revealed on her IG story that she broke up with him after she caught him with a man in bed. She said, stop asking me what happened with my BD. I caught him with a man, okay? YK actually spoke about this during an interview with The Breakfast Club, but what made people side eye YK was the way he kept smiling uncontrollably and playing with his hoodie while Charlemagne read the rumors to him. Like, take a look at this, y'all. Tell me this man was not blushing. Did he say this Diddy's boy toy? Uh, yeah, what? I was in Jamaica with him. Oh, I see it now. See? <laughs> this, I was well, I Jamaica with him. in Jamaica with his alleged boo Diddy. <laughs> see? <laughs> Yeah. Was you in Jamaica with Diddy though? Yeah, what, he what, said what yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I was uh, with a shawty. All right, but Diddy was there. No, he was a whole other different. Oh, so they just made this up? Yeah, they made it up, yeah. Oh. But see, Diddy wasn't the only one who was accused of using YK as his personal little boy toy in the industry. In fact, it's been rumored for a while now that Drake has also been getting intimate with YK. A lot of people were shocked about this because even though Drake tends to act a little fruity sometimes, they didn't expect him to actually be lying down with men for real. These rumors got even wilder 
when Drake demanded YK to sing him a love song on a video after he lost a $60,000 gambling bet. I'm, I'm, I'm not young. You I, I owe you no more. I owe you no more. You owe me 60 bands? Or, and you have to perform the song right now in the crib. What are we talking about? What are you talking about? I'm giving you an out. I'm not baby. I'm not boozy. You don't owe me no two rags, five rags. You owe me 60 bands. I'm playing the song right now. You ready? I need you. I need a full. Huh? You You won't owe me no money right now. I swear. I need a full performance though. The real shit. A lot of people felt like Drake was trying to humiliate YK, but when YK was asked about it, he said Drake was like a brother to him, and he didn't feel humiliated at all. Remember you had to sing for Drake? Nah, but Drake, Drake my brother though, like that's, that's my boy, so it's like when we bet and gamble, like it's, it's really ain't about no money. Another weird video went viral of YK doing sit-ups on Drake's private jet. The video initially looked like a fun video of them just playing around, but fans noticed how traumatized and uncomfortable YK looked. He looked like he didn't want to do it, but was still going along because Drake asked him to. You struggling? You struggling with them push-ups? One person said, humiliation ritual. Some sick stuff be happening that we don't know about off camera. Another person said, this is starting to get weird. YK really looking like a kept boy out here. These allegations got far worse when Drake reposted a photo of YK with his new lover boy haircut in honor of the release of his album certified lover boy with the caption, burnt out, you really one of one YK Osiris. But YK wasn't done sipping for Drake just yet. He took it one step further to get a tattoo of Drake's infamous OVO owl on his leg. Chell, not YK getting a tattoo of a whole other man. However, things got really dark about a year ago when he went on an explosive rant on IG and said he was tired of being used and tossed around in the industry. He said he had no real friends in the industry who were actually looking out for him and wished he could just take his own life. I just wanna die. That's what I wanna do. I wanna Die. That's what I want to do. I want to crash out right now and just like, like this, this, this like life. I swear to God, I had to take a ride. I had to take a ride, bro. Got my house because the demons are trying to attack me, bro. Like it's 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 been it's bad. Like I never cry, bro. I never fucking cry. I never fucking cry. I never. I never. I never. I never. I never. I never. I never fucking cry. I swear to God, right on the Bible. I'm so strong. I just never cry. I don't fuck with my daddy. Nigga, all type of shit. I don't see my kids. Nigga, I barely like. I'm not making money for music. YK went on another rant where he bashed other rappers for always pretending like they serve God, even though they worship the devil and prey on young men to stay at the top. God don't want you to do no. God don't want you to talk about no sex, money, cars, clothes, and hoes. What makes you? What makes you think it's a blessing? What makes you think that? You see, I'm gonna tell you something. They always want you to, you know what these rappers, all these singers, all these big rappers y'all y'all look up to? They always tell you what the good part about, but you, they never tell you what the bad part. That's just, that, and that's crazy, man. Yeah, they got all this money, but get, they, they, they dealing with emo spirits. They dealing with they self. They dealing with, man, come on, man. Like, dude, like, y'all don't understand, man. Stop saying that it's a God blessing. This is not from God. This is not from God. Business, and I'll be honest with you, bro. I want to get out this music industry because this is not for me. But I do it because I feed my family. But I don't want to be in this. This is not what God want me to do. God don't want me to do this. But I do it to feed my family. And I want to get out this. I want to get out of the music industry because, yes, you go through pain. You go through, you go through this because this is what the devil wants you to go through to destroy yourself.
However, it's now being alleged that Diddy and Drake were not actually using young rappers as their boy toys because they were secretly gay, but because it's part of some devilish ritual among Hollywood elites to derive the young energy of men that they sleep with to keep themselves young and charismatic and remain relevant in the industry. I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but that's what the people's saying. Apparently, this is also why Diddy has been trying to get almost everybody in the industry to attend these parties. They weren't just for the freak-offs, they were also a part of his very twisted ritual for more fame and more money. And this was also confirmed by the popular psychic, Sloane Bella, who revealed that Diddy had been using these young men to indulge in satanic rituals. She also said this is something Kim Porter was going to expose in that book before she suddenly passed away. Diddy is on some kind of spree for removing people who speak about this because he's gay. That is not the issue. I want you to hear me. That's one thing and he may have his own shame about that and it may be culturally not right for him, whatever. Get in line in society. That is not what this is. It's not a book about him being gay, but what we're talking about here is ritualistic sexual deviancy used to harness energy of a human being. We are being harnessed, not me, not you, but the people that he's dealing with and she became privy to this. She witnessed this. We are talking about the ritualizing, sexualized aggression directed at young children, mainly male. Another source also said this is why YK's career went downhill after he started speaking out against Diddy. Diddy destroyed his career once he started speaking out and pushed him out of the industry. One person said, it's been said for years how big ballers in the industry manipulate young people coming in the industry with a dream. And the big boys convince them they can't get up or rich without their connection. But you have to play with me first. Sadistic. I believe Shorty. Another person said, and it now makes sense why he was hurt and obsessed over those people no longer dealing with him and why he wasn't actually suicidal. But he could sense that spirit taunting him and he needed to speak on it. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about YK exposing Diddy for a him and destroying his career. And what do y'all think about Drake being a part of Diddy's secret cult and joining in to use YK? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.